Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of the 101, episode 102, yep, 102, and today we just defeated some other stuff, and um, yeah, talking to Shane. Eh, hey, he's offering a vow of peace. Alright, but make sure both heads swear, or we'll both be sorry. Here's your cloak. Alright, so we're gonna talk to Billy Brute. Shoot, I do not mean to talk to him. Come on, I hate when you get stuck on these freaking dumbass things, man. It's so annoying. <laughs> like, honestly. Alright, uh, Billy Brute, he shouldn't be so far away. Pretty sure he ain't. I believe he's one that we're trying to make peace with because. Yeah, he was the one that smashed the, um, the thing. But yeah, we're gonna talk to be Billy Brute. <laughs> hey, you went for it! I mean, of course, I'll keep my vow. <laughs> what do you mean I have to promise for my other head, too? What trickery is this? Didn't I? Fine, fine, fine. Alright, so we talk to Billy. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. That's the way. Happy? You helped us, wizard, I won't forget that. Me either. I'll remember you fondly as I pick your bones out of my teeth. No, no, no. A deal is a deal. The way is open to you, wizard. Head on to the burial ground and find your ghost, Bridget. Alright, so now we're going to talk to Bridget. Halt, defiler, or good. face my wrath. Oh, you are a knight errant and a friend to Sir Bellinos. I'm sorry, I am weak and my sight is no longer clear. I would help you, but Fraudlings stole carved markers from my tomb and my own weapons. This has reduced my power. Retrieve my carved mm. markers from the Fraudling village and fight the Spriggans for my weapons. Then I can aid you. Alright guys, we'll be back after we collect the carved markers and we defeat the Spriggans. Alrighty guys, so we've defeated the trenches and got our weapons back and all that kind of stuff. Now we're going to talk to Bridget. I am relieved to have these returned. If you are able to restore my tomb with the carved markers and weapons you retrieve, I believe I will be able to guide you. With my tomb restored, my essence is replenished. I can see clearly now. Your path lies there, into the tomb of the Nameless. That is where the Death Seraphs took your sword. The tomb was built for a wealthy knight, but his name was erased from history for crimes that were beyond the pale. Oof. This dungeon will test you, wizard. For the Nameless is the one who betrayed Artorius and caused the Great King's death. Enter the tomb and confront the Nameless Knight for your soul. Alrighty guys, this is gonna be a dungeon. It's gonna take at least 30 minutes. So, um, yeah. I'll talk to you when we're in there. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We just defeated Sir Malroy and we figured out the puzzle and yeah. I have lost so many things. I betrayed my oaths and vows and turned on King Artorius. For this, my wealth, my few good deeds, even my name were all taken. My wrongdoing may never be forgiven, but I still have the chance to do some good in the world. I will help you on your quest. Have you mastered the knightly virtues? There is a white heart trapped by the Fraudling village. Show mercy and free him. Alright, um... Uh, sorry, 
guys. Nisa. Uh, what level is he? Why? Thank you. Oh my god. This is ridiculous, man. Okay, so about that. Now we're gonna go and free the white hearts. This is a permanent drop. Permanent um permanent drop. Permanent mounts. Gotten a few. Oh no, away. Whoop, whoop. That was kinda cool there, okay. Oh my god, poor dear. Man. Yeah, I will free you. Those such things to animals. Man. The poor creature stumbled into the bog and can't get out. If you don't free it, it's doomed. You get a rope around the heart and firmly pull it out of the muck. It tosses its head in thanks and then races off free. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, now I'm going to go and talk to... Uh, Melroy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> no, the good idea to go that way. No, the good idea at all. Okay. Seven? Seven? I don't know what's wrong with that. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so Melro, we have freed the poor hearts. You showed mercy to the poor beast. That is in fact a sign of virtue. A knight must be loyal and must swear to be true to one's family, fellow knights and liege. It is my deepest failing. But perhaps there is someone in the world who I once aided who remains loyal to my memory. Ask Sophia Greensleeves if she remembers me. Alright, um, I don't think we're gonna... I think we're gonna cut, just cause it isn't really that far. With this kind of mount. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I got myself out of that. That was so close. Boy. <laughs> so bloody sketchy. You can easily just get swept up so quick. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. As long as you keep to the side, you should be fine. Sometimes it doesn't work, unfortunately. Alright, so if you're green sleeves, she's over here. Here she is. wizard. You aided me father and husband both. How can I help? Mallory? I don't know. You mean Sir Mallory? How could I forget? He murdered King Artorius and that cannot be forgiven. But he saved me mother from a giant's axe. If not for him, I'd not have known her songs and laughter. For that act alone, I'll always remember Mallory's name. Oh. I confess, I get a bit frightened when my the red caps. Would okay. you be able to chase away some red caps and wildfire tree ants so I can feel safe? Well, maybe I'll do that another time because that's a lot of XP and definitely worth it. But for now, I'm gonna focus on this. She remembered me without malice. That eases the pain a little. A little. You're lucky, dude. The law of hospitality is one of the oldest tenets of Avalon. If you invite a guest in, their safety is supposed to be sacred. 
The Lady of the Blue Dahlia has broken this taboo by inviting knights into her tower and then ensorcelling them. Venture to the Tower of the Blue Dahlia and free her captive, Sir Gerard Monmouth. Remind the Lady of the Laws of Hospitality. Alright guys, so we'll be back after we defeat the uh, Blue Dahlia. And um, yeah, see you later. Alright guys, so we defeated Sir Gerard Mon Monmouth and here we go. Well fought, but now you will be forced to act as her champion until you are defeated. But wait, you are not a full knight. As a wizard, you might be able to challenge the Lady of the Blue Dahlia directly. If you best her, we would both be free. That's the goal, mate. That's the goal. Oh, no, where are we going? My new champion! Let me look at you, Lavi. A wizard? You are no true knight, but a sneak thief trying to steal my treasures. I'll have your eyes. Boy, she'll have my eyes. Man, that's not nice. That's really not nice. What? What? What is... What? Okay, there we go. It's it's acting weird for some reason. Me too. Uh, um, let's see. Okay, we're good. Alrighty, guys. So we defeated the Blue Dolly. Now we're going to talk to Sir Mallory. You freed Sir Gerard Monmouth by challenging the Lady of the Blue Dahlia to a wizard duel. Well played. My road into shadow was twisted and marked with infamous deeds. I stole a divining treasure from the Three Color Serpent. It then fell into the claws of a spiny spriggan in the Froudling Village. As an act of justice, I need you to recover it. Alrighty guys, we're back after we go to the Spiny Spriggan's house and it's probably going to be defeat and collect, so we'll see you then. Alrighty guys, so we've completed that quest, defeated the dude and got his treasures, so we're so no worry. I've not seen the divining treasure in a lifetime. It showed me a vision once, but in the end, I could not avoid my fate. We must return the dividing treasure to the three color serpent and ask his pardon. Keep your head high and show no fear. You'll find him in the chromatic tower by the rainbow fountain. Alright, so hopefully this is not another defeat. It shouldn't be. But, um, yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Yes. So, who is this? A wizard? I smell no trepidation in you. But, what do you have there? My divining treasure. I lost it years ago to the accursed Mallory. His spirit told you to return it to me. Hmm, how noble. As thanks. I will look into the divining treasure and tell you what you must know for your quest. A lost queen in a ring fort. She will help you rally the Rose Knights for your final push against the Pin Dragon. Okay. Yeah, this is a cool. It's a cool. It's a cool place. Right, Melroy. You did it. Good. The Lost Queen, you say? That can only mean your path leads to Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn can help you complete your knowledge of the Sword of Kings. She must be hiding at the Ring Fort, Thundara. I know it well. It is the ancient home of the Druids, where I grew up with my sister, Morganth. 
Do you know her? She was a clever child who had a smile that could melt Winter's heart. Though she also had a cruel streak. Oh, ghosts and cobwebs, never mind that. <laughs> Scout out the path to Dundar and tell me what you find. Uh, let's go to tell Dundora. Man. So much now. Gone. A giant's tower perches on the path, like a gargantuan carrion bird. Perhaps Mallory has a cunning plan to get by it. Hopefully, hopefully. From what you describe, Dunscaith still stands. The home of the unspeakable Indigo Giant. The Indigo Giant has a taste for all flesh. He must be preying on travelers to Dundara. Venture into his tower and slay him. What were you expecting? A cunning plan? Then, release his captives. This will show you are a friend to the druids who can guide you on to Dundara and Gwendolyn. Oh, you think it'd be simple? <laughs> no. Got to bloody defeat him with 10,000 health. Stupid. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I'm going to be back after this. Alrighty guys, so we defeated that dude, now we talk to Duran, our captive. Good oh. wizard! You freed us from a terrible demise. How can we ever repay you? You are searching for Dundara? Let us show you the secret path, friend. Look for Aeolt when you arrive. Alright. So now we're gonna go to Palace. Talk to... Adur? Adur? Ad <laughs> Alright, so we're super close to leveling. Greetings, friend. If you know of me, Doran must have sent you. Now, how can I help you? You're looking for Gwendolyn. Aye, the Queen is here. Go and present yourself. Alright, now we we'll talk to Gwendolyn, the Queen. Hello. Are you a mysterious wizard? A questing knight? A virtuous hero? Or something of each? Something of each. You are searching for the Sword of Kings? Who put you on this quest? Merle Ambrose? <laughs> of course that trickster would still live. I see you are no full knight yet. You must finish proving yourself before you might be able to wield the Sword of Kings. Meditate at the Lightning Burnt Tree on Dragon Hill to summon Sir George Martin and ask him to knight you. Uh, so we're gonna go to a tree. Oh, this is not. <laughs> oh, oh, fish. Oh, no. Oh, no, we gotta. Mm. All right. Yes, we did it. Alright. So, we're gonna go to the burning tree and we level from this, which is awesome. This tree has been the victim of countless lightning blasts might not want to get too close. You close your eyes and meditate on the nightly virtues you have learned about so far. Suddenly there is a crash of thunder. A pilgrim from Dandara or from much further away? Much further away. Such as Martin. Hail and well met, Knight Adams. Why do you come to this forsaken place? Queen Gwendolyn sent you for my counsel? I was a famous worm slayer in my day until Catalan, the lightning lizard, ended my string of victory. It still preys on the weak and powerless. Could you find Catalan in its lair and defeat it, easing my burden? Alright guys, we'll be back. And actually, yeah, we've, we've finished this. So if you guys enjoyed it, if you did, come and like, give it a like, come and write a share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And push. And also, we're gonna start. We're gonna start doing Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens again. We're gonna be remaining on doing that because I finally have the card. <laughs> so um, yeah. And also, maybe GTA V. If you guys want me to do it, if you want me to do it, if you, if 
you want me to do GTA V and continue Star Wars, tell me, tell me in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you guys want me to continue those, I'll be continuing next week. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.